In this video, we'll explore some features that will take your Pixel videos from good to great, all without needing any fancy editing software. Let's jump right in. Tip number one, create cinematic depth with cinematic blur. This mode allows you to create a shallow depth of field effect, similar to what you sometimes see in movies. By blurring the background, you automatically draw focus to your main subject, giving your videos a whole new level of depth and artistry. Just go to video inside the camera app and swipe over to blur. You can then tap on your subject and you'll see how the background around the subject is blurred. If you want to in or decrease the blurriness, just tap on the blur icon and adjust to your preference. I like a subtle blur and personally find a sweet spot at an intensity of around 35 to 50. On to tip number two, reducing distracting sounds with audio magic eraser. Why are we talking about audio and a video about video? Because bad audio can ruin an otherwise perfectly good video. So if you have a great video clip, but your audio is subpar, the Pixel 8 Pro comes to the rescue with Audio Magic Eraser. Sounds from cars, wind, or construction can be disrupted in a video. Audio Magic Eraser uses Google AI to reduce distracting sounds with a few taps so you can hear the ones you want. It's quite noisy here, folks. It's quite noisy here, folks. Depending on the video, you'll have sound icon options of speech, music, wind, crowd, or noise. You can then either let the Pixel automatically fine tune the audio, or you can manually adjust the sounds yourself. Doesn't that sound great? Literally. Okay, on to tip number three and back to basics like cropping and stabilizing. There are a number of helpful video features inside the Photos app that you can use to edit clips right on your phone. For example, you can change the aspect ratio of your videos. You likely often need footage in different aspect ratios for different platforms, and catering to different platforms can be challenging. But with Pixel, you can change the aspect ratio of your video clips right after you recorded them. Just head over to Edit, and then Crop, and here you can manually crop the frame or choose from a few pre-selected ratios. And that's not the only nifty feature. You can also stabilize your footage with one tap. Just swipe back over to video, hit the frame icon, and in a few seconds, those bumps and jitters will be smoothed out, giving you a more polished look. While you're here, you can also tap the wand icon, which will automatically adjust brightness and contrast of your video. Over to our final and maybe the easiest tip of them all, improving your videos with Video Boost. Don't worry about a shaky or imperfect video. With Video Boost, color, lighting, stabilization, and graininess are automatically adjusted to help improve overall quality. So how does it work? While you're in video mode in your camera app, tap the gear icon in the lower left. This is where you can turn Video Boost on and off. Now, when you return to the viewfinder, at the top you'll see a video camera icon with a star. That means Video Boost is on. You can now go ahead and record a video. After filming, once you've connected to Wi-Fi, Video Boost will work in the background to upload the videos you recorded to the cloud where the heavy lifting for Video Boost happens. When reprocessing is complete, you'll get an alert from Google Photos to check out the final product. So when should you use it? I think Video Boost is very helpful, especially when you're filming something in low light conditions like a candlelit restaurant, a nighttime concert, or anywhere else with less than ideal lighting. In general, when you film a scene where you want the highest video quality possible, just activate Video Boost and enjoy a more professional looking video. That's four quick and easy tips to improve the quality of your videos and recording workflow. Have fun.